So today we conducted uh, active shooter exercises, integrating our US, uh, US military members with our ROCAV partners to test capabilities on response and communication and ensure that we have the most efficient airtight operation for active shooter response. So the goal is to do quarterly exercises testing our force protection, wartime transition. Um, so this was our first for this year, 2023. Today we had an insider thread with a U.S. individual and we made sure that we contacted the GOC, the Ground Operations Center, um, to get their dispatch of their special duty team and their military police. Um, we did this to test their response capabilities with their MPs and then also test our recall procedures and lockdown procedures for the U.S. individuals on the compound. We had also tested their fire and medical response to see how they conduct uh, ground operations and um, see how we can interlock our U.S. personnel with our ROC medical team. So our overall goal is to build communication and then um, since this is a, this is a ROC ran compound, to make sure that we as the U.S. Um, guest on the installation know exactly who we need to contact, how we contact them, what their response procedures, and how we can best facilitate any operations that involve uh, force protection or wartime operations. We did a crawl, walk, run phase. So initially we just outlined what our expectation was. From there, we got sat down and did a tabletop exercise, ran through, um, the scenario from beginning to end, and then we finally got here where we did a full-scale exercise. The key part is just making sure that we're all 100% ready. Readiness is, is the overall goal. As we work through all these processes, we iron out to make sure that we're 100% ready to respond to any type of threat or um, any type of war response.